Hey guys, what's up? It's Dean. Welcome to Manful Yoga. In this video, I'm going to talk about what you can do while you're injured. So, should you continue to exercise while you're injured? How should you modify your workouts? Um, what are some mindsets that I've found helpful uh, when I'm personally injured? These are the things that I'm going to talk about and kind of break down into three specific strategies. So, uh, this video is part of our member question series in which I answer questions from our members from our online Manflow Yoga community, um, but also any question that I find interesting or think that it might be valuable to answer and put, you know, into a video. Um, so these videos are live in our members area in the training tools section and then released a day or so later on on our social media, on our YouTube and Facebook. So if you're watching this in the members area, thank you. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, be sure to like the video, leave a question uh, or a comment if you have either of those. So here we go. What can you or what should you do while you're injured? Explained with three specific strategies. So the first thing to understand when it comes to injuries is that most injuries are preventable. And because of this, you can do certain exercises to help strengthen the weaknesses that cause the injury in the first place. So most injuries are soft tissue related injuries that happen in your ankles, your knees, your shoulders, maybe your low back. Um, and they're completely preventable with the exercises that you do. So usually if you have, you know, a knee injury and it's not caused by like a high impact injury, if you're not, you know, an NFL running back, for example, then the knee injury was caused by an imbalance or a weakness either in the muscles connecting to the knee or the muscles that support the knee. So usually that's the hips, the ankles, or your core. So knowing this, the first thing, uh, and understanding that injuries are preventable with the right exercises, is to do the exercises that will help prevent the injury from occurring again. So that's kind of wordy, but the point here is to understand that your injury was probably caused by a weakness or an imbalance and that you should work on that. So that's the first thing to understand. You don't want to just, you know, sit on the couch and wait for your injury to heal itself. Uh, because if you just go straight back to what you were doing without addressing those weaknesses that caused it, then you'll probably get injured again in order to get back to where you were and get beyond that. So you don't get injured again you have to do more than you were doing. You have to do other exercises. You have to work on those weaknesses. So that's the first thing to understand is, is knowing and understanding that your injury was probably caused by a weakness, which you could have done something about. Number two is you don't want to stop working out entirely. Train around, but not through pain. So we want to figure out those exercises that you can do that don't cause pain, that don't aggravate the existing injury and make it worse, um, but help to build strength, help to build mobility, again, to address what probably caused, uh, to address the weakness that probably caused that injury in the first place. So to find these exercises, you're probably not gonna be able to go straight back to what you're doing. If you injured your knee, I'm not gonna tell you to go out and do squats the next day, um, but, I will tell you to go out and start doing non-impact, non-weight-bearing exercises to help strengthen your hips, to help strengthen your ankles. These typically aren't the full body movements that are as enjoyable. You're not going to go out and go running. You're not going to go out and do, you know, a HIIT workout, but these are exercises that you can do and will help you in the long term. Um, so part of the part of the part of the most frustrating parts about being injured is not being able to do what you're used to do, uh, what you're used to doing. And what makes exercise difficult is when you have to do things that are outside of your comfort zone. You have to do something that you're not used to doing that isn't part of your routine. And so even though it's difficult to get outside of that routine uh, and to do new exercises and to have a new format to your workout, um, it's still something that you can do. So I, want, I really want to encourage you um, to, to, again, understand that you can use this time to work on those weaknesses. You just have to figure out the right exercises. Um, and that's going to take some personal research on your part. You might have to use you know, something like YouTube. Um, and again, it's not going to be full body movements. You're going to be working on specific muscles or specific muscle groups. 
in a way that doesn't aggravate that injury. So it's not going to look like your typical workout, but it is going to help you still. You just have to figure out what those exercises are. Um, and it's also going to take some trial and error to figure out what hurts and what doesn't. But the bottom line here is to not stop doing your workouts entirely, just to figure out what you can do without pain. All right. And then number three is to shift your mindset. Instead of getting down on yourself and saying, oh, boo hoo me, I can't work out because my knee hurts, I want you to look at this as an opportunity to strengthen your weaknesses. I want you to look at this as an opportunity to try new things, to do new exercises, to do new workouts. Um, if your back is injured, that probably means that you have to work on your core. You need to work on your hips. Um, if your shoulders are injured, you might want to take a break from using your upper body. We don't want to do any sort of pushing overhead or any sort of pushing, typically when our shoulders are injured. But there are plenty of physical therapy-like exercises or rehab exercises that you can do for your shoulders to help address that injury. Um, and you can also just avoid your shoulders entirely and do things with your lower body. Uh, and if your lower body is injured, we can work on the upper body, right? So looking at this instead of, instead of looking at this as, you know, we can't work out at all. We're looking at this as an opportunity. It's actually, it's actually minimizing the amount of choices that we have so that we have fewer things to choose on, uh, fewer things to decide from, fewer options. And that's actually going to make it easier to work out. We just have to remember again, that we're probably not going to be able to do what we're used to, that we have to do something new. And there is some friction involved in that. Um, but again, go out, get educated, figure out the exercises that you can do. Um, if you need to, you know, seek specific advice from someone who's good at someone who's maybe has gone through the training, someone who has a doctorate, like a physical therapist, um, or someone who specializes in a certain area, um, then go out and find that information or work with someone who has it. Uh, but again, uh, you do want to continue to work out and you do want to address the injury specifically by working on those weaknesses that caused it. And that's going to help you in the short term. It's going to help you stay active and, and stay mentally uh, stable. At least for me, when I'm not working out, I get really irritable and it's not great for those people around me. So I've, I've embraced these principles over the last few years. I've had injuries in my knees, my ankles, uh, my back, my shoulders, my neck, um, pretty much everything, my wrists, fingers, all that good stuff. Um, and so for me, again, looking at this as an opportunity to strengthen my body in new ways has allowed me to stay active. But then the second part of that is also using this time to address those weaknesses that caused the injury in the first place and allowing you to be stronger um, than you were when the injury occurred. So hopefully that makes sense. Again, those three principles, number one, um, is to understand that the source of the injury is likely weakness. Number two is to train around and not through pain. You don't want to hurt yourself. You just want to figure out what you can do without pain. And then number three, looking at it as an opportunity to strengthen areas that you haven't worked on in a while. So there, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, be sure to like the video, leave a comment. If you have questions or you want to say thank you, or you want to say your sound is terrible, screw you. That's fine too. Uh, but thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. And if you're watching this in the members area, thank you so much for being part of the Manful Yoga community. Um, it means a lot having you here. You guys are awesome. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video. New member questions every week like this. Um, I hope you have a great week.